Welcome to Real Flicks Reviews, or like a book club for people late reading. This week was our theater pick, so we picked the movie with Matthew McConaughey called Interstellar. And we bring you movie news. It's in the program. This week we have Jonathan Charney, James Stevens, Hello. Ryan Preston. And the old guy's here. So who has the description of this movie? I thought you were doing it. Yeah, why not? Right? A team of explorers travel through a wormhole in an attempt to find potentially habitable planets that will sustain humanity. You know what I thought was actually funny? Now, uh, when you first get introduced to this world, you start to learn that, you know, Dust Bowls, and they d- start having the yeah. old people discussing it. kind of reminded me of the Ken Burns documentary about the Dust Bowl. Mm-hmm. I actually really liked those parts. I, I did, too. But, you know, if I really I put this... I into a condensed thing. This is the same damn plot that we're doing in Firefly. Yeah. The yeah. Earth was used up, ways. and they started terraforming other well, planets. That's, that's been used. I mean, that's the that's a very old that, shtick. Yeah. I know, it's, but I thought it was interesting. Forever. Yeah. That, was, that is the same kind of thing we're doing in Firefly. Yeah. Well, I mean, that was a MacGuffin just to start the story. The, the one yeah. thing I have to admit I was impressed with was I loved. On you were Earth. impressed with something. Well, yeah, the, well, the movie. I love the color choice in the beginning because everything was really bright. Well, it's in film. On it the was outside, on the outside, which from, on the bright, on the outside, everything was extremely bright. It seemed like on the inside, everything was fairly dim. I, I, I really liked that contast. Yeah. Yeah. No, the lighting in it was uh, was was pretty nutty. Um, I, I really liked the beginning. Just kind of, it, it didn't do that usual blockbuster movie thing of we're just going to over explain everything it's the year 2614 and this happened and this happened and that's why everything's like this you yeah just dumped into it yeah and, and to kind of like sort of just discover things like okay well there's robots and then there's things and then there's this anomaly you're just trying to piece it together yeah that's, and that's, did they ever explain that this was actually supposed to be 50 years in the future Cause i don't remember that no. i actually had to find that one on my own hmm. I, I have but, to admit, uh, I, I was surprised how 2001 Space Odyssey this whole thing felt. Okay, so the, the, I was the actually <laughs> the quietness and the symphonic type of music. Oh no, it it gets Rip. very 2001, especially at the ending when he's he's practically a space baby. Right. Yeah. Um, um, now that you you mention it, Ryan, I'm actually surprised there was no narrator doing the whole. <laughs> it is the year 2050, and the Earth is in ruins. You know, it's. You're right. I was. I didn't think. Well, about I that. enjoyed well, like, that too. I, I agree with Ryan. I was actually enjoying that part. Well, I completely agree. It was actually kind of nice not to have everything dumped on your lap and then just have a two-hour movie that trying to explain something they explained the ten minutes into the movie. Yeah. So what I, my opinion was, is this was two movies tied together because it had there was two <clears throat> distinct separate parts. Yeah. Okay. I agree. As as There's like know. two acts. You yeah. Can kind yeah. of be I'd two say, separate movies. I'd say and three. I, and I. <laughs> Okay, I don't care. Say five. I, I mean, <laughs> I'm trying to be serious here. No, no, I am. I'd actually think there, there was, because there was three, because, you know, like, continue. I'll oh, explain after. Yeah, yeah I'd like. It's not worth it. This movie. <laughs> Fine. I was going to say, because there's the Earth part, there's the space part, and then there's the part when everything goes wrong. I wouldn't, Which is necessarily, the whole movie. I wouldn't say necessarily there was anything that goes wrong, but I, I see what Rob's saying. Like, you, you could broken this up in two parts you could have had the beginning part where he gets launched you know he he gets ready they do a little the which they didn't do any refresher course training yeah. with him with nasa by the way people i think they skipped forward a little bit but i was jarred by that too like yeah I'm just gonna let fly us in. oh you're that's the best pilot we've ever had so we want you to fly again Here, yeah, here's the that, seat take off not that, to mention i was there too in a long time and i kind of try to do the same thing of like all right I'll, I'll give them a little grace maybe they just skip that section but yeah. that's what i'm saying is rob is kind of right where you could have that portion where he had the training extend the movie by another hour jerks mm-hmm. um <laughs> and shoot, shoot him off to the space and then do a interstellar two in space type thing that's kind of where he's it, that's it, kind yeah, of where i, I think they could have done much better with the plot myself see, I, don't, I don't think if they did an interstellar two it would have worked because it'll be like kill bill two and nobody really wanted to see it I wanted now, to see Kill Bill too. Well, yeah, but now when's the last time you wanted like you've never actually gone? I want to watch Kill Bill too. I mean, That's because yeah. he hasn't released the whole bloody affair. But I see. I, I think. <laughs> Sorry, I think Ryan. I just talked right over you. What you were saying? What do you say, Ryan? I do that all the time and watch Kill Bill too, just on its own. Uh, I love that movie. 
It was awesome. Well, I just don't I don't think this movie would have sold as well as two parts. I kind of see why he made it one long movie. Wait, you mean yeah, they? You have to, but it's 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 almost three hours long. It's what two forty five? Yeah. That was almost three hours that I didn't realize went by. Oh, I, I mean, did anybody really feel like it was long, or did you just kind of go on this? <laughs> no. You got three hands. <laughs> yeah. I, I felt like, okay, that's that's two hours, 45 minutes. That I'll never get back. I'd poke me and be like, hey, look at, look at the watch. I was, I was on the ride the whole time. I didn't feel like the plot was, I mean, aside from some of the science jargon that got a little sci-fi. You're part, just in love with Nolan. Um, you know, I like Nolan too, but I, I I was actually disappointed with this one. I you know there were there were bits and pieces I I, I really liked. I liked the scene with the uh, there's the, the problem. I like the scene bits in, and pieces. Well, but there were actually good bits and pieces though. The scene in the school when he brought when uh, his daughter was in trouble. You know, they said they were uh, excuse me. The scene was his daughter was in trouble reading from an old textbook, and the teacher said about how oh uh, nobody landed on the moon. He's like hmm. seriously. All the revisionist history, all wrapped up. There were some. There were some pretty good bits and jabs throughout the, the whole movie. So, on and a, on that's the problem. Line. There were just bits and jabs. I, unlike I, Ryan, I felt the other way. I felt every bit of it's almost three hours. I, really? Oh, I did. It. It was oh, to me. And I think the problem is, is that uh, you know, being a real fan of sci-fi. I mean, I'm. I love sci-fi, and I'll put just about anything that says sci-fi on. But this movie... Apparently not this one. I, I, no. I mean, there were so many things that just didn't jive for me. Um, well, let me put it a different way. My problem with this wasn't, wasn't necessarily the story. I didn't have an issue with the story. I didn't really have an issue with the acting. The acting was okay. I think there was too much lag in between. Hmm. And they didn't really explain why there was so much lag in between. Like, there were sections where it's just kind of like, oh, we're going to be doing this, 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 this. I think this. that was the, the 2001 kind yeah, of Yeah, that's yeah, what I'm saying. Right. And, and my issue with that is, did you feel they went too realistic? I, that's where I come I, down to see, it. I don't think they went too realistic. I, I'll be honest. I don't know why, because I, I liked uh, everything up to the point when they landed on the first planet. Everything after that, to me, was very boring, drawn out. I, I just didn't, and, and Matthew McConaughey's acting, no offense to him, but it, so there were some, his, his emotional scenes were like, really? Yeah, He's but... getting all these accolades uh, from people telling him what a great actor he was in this movie. And I got to be honest with you, he was just... I think he him. did okay. I don't he, think he did just great. Him. He wasn't anything different than anything else. But he's the know? sex symbol of that era. Yeah, whatever. And that's really what it is. Yeah, yeah I guess. 2050. He did fine. I, I think he did I, okay. I wouldn't say he did I, it stellar. I, 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 Better than, than than okay. I mean, I think he did okay. He, I don't I, think he stepped out of himself. I don't think he. Really I think became, Matt Damon did a better job than him. Oh, Matt Damon did a far better job. And and but the, again, there's a scene that could have just been left out. Yeah. Or, or something else because it was so short anyway. And it and, really did nothing to the plot. No. Matt and Damon was and in except movie? that you could go crazy. Yeah, he was Doctor Man. He was the crazy guy who tried to kill him. No wonder. I, okay, I'll be honest. You didn't even know that was Matt Damon. No, I oh. was like, I kept saying that guy looks familiar. He looks I just familiar. I'm it was just guy. I don't know who it is. But Ryan, right, uh, ladies and gentlemen, I'm sorry. What? <laughs> oh, that Matt Damon character. I think I've seen him someplace. <laughs> yeah, I was looking at Anna um, Hathaway the whole time. And that's true. Oh, Anna, she wasn't even in that scene. <laughs> well, I meant in the movie. It's like, give me more Anne Hathaway. I, I do love the. I do love the sets, and the, the props, and everything about this movie. I love the robot design. Actually, it was kind of like yeah. the new version now, of Robbie now, the robot. Now, that was the probably the best prop in the whole movie. I right? agree. Why did they design those those robots to walk and move? And I do? loved how he was talking shit to the robot when oh, he first got caught. It's like I'll turn you into a flashlight or something. No, I like <laughs> it when he was sitting there and he's repairing him, and he's like, "Okay, wait, too far. Let me let me bring you back now." Which Ryan, I'm sorry. It's a spoiler. Um, anyways, um, yeah, well, no. you know, the thing about me to space travel, this is like being trapped on a submarine, but worse. And the only good thing you get out of it is just better views. Because you can't go outside. You're stuck in a little box. That's yeah. really it. Yeah. They made a point to even bring that up. You know what I mean? Yeah. Guys, and like, this is it's just this aluminum, you know, and some mylar or some shit. Yeah. That's from nothing for millions of miles. And, and you're dead right. <laughs> if you I, go outside. 
Well, there, actually, there's do not do not pass go. You're dead. I actually liked that scene because I thought it it really helped to to meet every to get to kind of tie those two characters together because you you saw him hand a recording of uh, like lightning thunder and all that. Oh, uh, okay, yeah, yeah. You know, I, I really liked that scene. There was, and I can't remember right now which character it was, but there's the scene where they they get the guy out of cryogenics. Oh, right. That was Matt Damon. No, that would be Matt no. Damon. Yeah, that would be Matt Damon. Okay, so he's he's coming out of cryogenics, right? And uh, he, there, you're, you're like wrapped in a plastic bag, yeah. right? Well, instead Body of bag. just putting a, a zipper, they were ripping this bag over. And, open. Yeah, and I'm looking at him going, you, you, need, you know, you, you can't you can't just put a zipper on. Well, the thing that I kind of got out of that is Wait, that when you're bugs. when you're in that little seal, a zipper wouldn't really protect you that much so well, they probably did a like a vacuum seal yeah there you thing. go that's, that's the only thing i think vacuum what were you saying ryan it's like before, before, before you got cut off no that was exactly what i was going to say it was a vacuum seal that was yeah. made by the fedex people that you tear it <laughs> <laughs> that's right i'm surprised they didn't have to burp you right you know right so after they but, put you to bed. but i think the sets yeah. were really cool uh, i thought that even some of the interactions with the world, like the first world they landed on. Yeah. And I mean, they're just walking out. And I'm trying to tell, talk to my wife. And I'm like, why are they stepping out in the middle of the ocean? And there's only like Three barely a little bit of water. What the heck is going on? And also uh, I'm like, uh, oh, crap. <laughs> that world's done. You're not going to live there. And she's like, well, what? Why? You, we don't live out in the mini, middle of the ocean. There can't be things like that. Get I told her, you know, the plates. The the plates of the earth that they're going on are not stable. Can you imagine the earthquakes that would be causing tsunamis that high? Tsunamis? <laughs> tsunamis. I, Sorry. I, I really disliked... I, just, I, I did it like a Japanese person. Ah, okay. Racist. I really disliked the whole the whole time dilation thing on that, though. When it got up and said how long had passed... 23 years, two months. Yeah, they were, at, yeah, they were reading oh, it by... Oh, 23 years, years, four months, and like two days or some random crap it's like just, that. Yeah, that part, I mean, I understand why, but it was just kind of like, it was just so, it felt so heavy during that scene, it, to me, it just yeah, weighed that, it down. Yeah, I up. agree with you, that, I think that scene, I think that scene had a valid point for being in the movie, but I think they took it too far, is where I feel on that one. I'm so, wondering, you know... <laughs> I kept thinking that the it, when we talked about I, when I talked about the movie being two parts, I really saw it, and, and, and I was thinking to myself, you know, you could have developed two really good movies, but yeah. about, you know, and instead of having two year release dates, you could have done, you know, these two movies together in the same time, but release them a year apart or something or like that, or three months apart, much, yeah, or three months apart, or a week apart. I don't care, but 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 I think they could have taken the plots on on the two parts much further. And it just didn't feel developed enough to me. Yeah, that, and, and, I agree with you on that. I don't. I think they rushed it. I yeah. think they really rushed certain sections of this movie, and then they lagged in other sections where they, where they shouldn't have. Yeah, and and Jonathan had a point too about feeling uh, almost too real. Um, in in some respects, you know, we're talking sci-fi here, and I like I like my shoot 'em up, blast them, you know. Star That's a good Wars, movie, by the uh, way. Shoot 'em up. Shoot 'em up. You know, I like. That kind of stuff that'll never happen sci-fi. You know, I really <laughs> yeah. enjoy that stuff. But, uh, the, you know, Jonathan had a point. And in some respect, it was too real. And labeling it sci-fi, I, I don't I don't know if that's actually a true okay. label. Rob, well, I think what? that... Look what? at what's happened the last few... First of all, I disagree with practically everything you guys are talking about Good. the last yeah. five minutes. All right. Uh, that's In cute. terms of sci-fi, look what's happened the last few years where somebody comes out with a sci-fi and everybody's like yeah it's bullshit that right. couldn't happen yeah you you can't make a sci-fi movie nowadays unless it could be you know hypothesized it could be true you know what i'm saying in, in some form or another i mean obviously this movie took a couple of liberties maybe with the the singularities and black holes etc but uh aside from that you you almost have to make it uh, like hyper realistic, and the I under I understand your point about it dragging down a little bit when it sort of started with like the day in the life of an astronaut boring ass shit. But button push. I, I don't think it's too much from the plot line. The push. first act was so bloody good that push. it had me well into the like past oh. the halfway point, and then Matt Damon comes in 
and kind of, you know, explains like, oh, no, this was all bullshit to begin with. We're just kind of going off plan B. Plan B was plan A, et cetera. And then the whole thing with the daughter. and I mean, it, it started to pick up pace towards the end when all these things started to come together. Well, you know, I'll so agree with I, that. I, 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 yeah. I, will, I, will say, I will say, unlike my dad, you know, I'll totally call this sci-fi. Part of it for me is it's just, it's not the type of sci-fi that I, I'll be honest, that I, I really like. I've always kind of liked the sci-fi that... I had to suspend my disbelief a little bit more. Um, yeah. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> you know, but so, but I also like the movie Gravity, which, you know, so there, there are definitely parts uh-huh, of this movie I really, really liked. I loved the spaceship aspect uh-huh. of it. I even liked the, that, that twist where you mentioned where Plan A and Plan B. I actually thought that was fairly well thought out, kind of predictable a little bit. Um, especially when he'd said, oh, I've been working on it, you know, my whole life and, you know, a few other things. I, it, I, I liked it. I actually, I, I kind of wish, now that you're thinking about it, I wish they did a, a movie, to, uh, second movie, so they could have kind of hashed out what happened what happened to Anne Hathaway's character. Because she was really a, just a throwaway, unimportant character. See what I'm saying? Three hours wasn't even enough for this guy. Yeah, and that, that's what, I, I'm not <laughs> disagreeing with you guys on this. I agree with Rob that it should have been two well-developed movies, possibly three, and they shush, and they could have actually developed things better. Because I mean, the whole thing of Plan A, Plan B, that was so foretold. Yeah. yeah. And then as soon as they start talking about black holes and time bending in certain areas, and that the There's relative a shush, well, you're think not even there. A lot more potential. Is and. What, and that, that was time right. was bent differently, all relative, and the theory of relativity. And I'm like, okay, fine, yeah, he's, as soon as he gets in the black hole, I'm like, really? He's a little pervert that was messing with his daughter? And yeah, <laughs> I was right! I mean, could what you imagine? <laughs> okay, he's the little pervert that was messing with his little daughter, spying on her through time. Did you not catch that at the end of the movie? Yes, that no, it's, it's, it's calling him a pervert when he was trying to, you know... Could you imagine to... if he accidentally... Because he didn't know what, exactly which one he was going to go into. That's and right. And the two different things is that the time span of how long that took in his life was only a matter of moments, and the time span in her life was practically her entire her life. life. But, right. but, so that's the interesting part, that they really could have developed that. I they could have done. Look, that. this is this is all science that doesn't actually yeah. exist. But How hold on. Do you want them to Sci- develop it when it's just going to be all BS in the first place? Science fiction. So this yeah, movie goes science fiction. That, you can. It's it's the remember remember Looper. Yeah, yeah we, that's what I thought about with this film. Looper was brilliant because it takes this time travel thing and it doesn't try to explain it away with some bullshit science where people are going to just pick it apart and and, and call well, it. Well, Neil deGrasse didn't, didn't do too it, bad on it. He just—he basically said, "Like, look, I, if I explain time travel, I'm sitting here drawing graphs and diagrams, and we're just not going to get into it." That's what this movie was like. It just wasn't going to get into all of the nonsense where you're going to get to pick it apart. It was, but based they off did. The but they let see, the story. I, I mean, they did. He hasn't seen the ending. He well, doesn't well, understand. Well, well, don't don't get me wrong. I, I thought parts of the time dilation <laughs> were way heavy on the movie, and a lot of times. But I don't think you could have done any more or add, added any more. I mean, this was perfect to explain. The basic of the time dilation was to explain how you saved humanity. At least humanity they didn't turn end. it into an event horizon. Because then... <laughs> then <laughs> might have been a little they, bit of a better movie. They touched on there. Um, they did. Oh, come on. <laughs> what did you say, Ryan? Bring Wait, hold on, hold on. What did okay. you say, Ryan? I said they got close to event horizon. <laughs> they did. <laughs> At spots. That's what I'm saying. They did. And, you know, the thing I want to bring it back to is... No, I did not enjoy this movie as much as I sh- as much as you a lot of too. people do. Sorry. Yeah, that's right. I, I, I wasn't, but I didn't dislike it that much. I just think they didn't do as much as they could have. I think they dropped the ball here. I really do. They had so much, and they tried to compact it, and they pushed it as much as they could. Two hours and forty-five minutes yeah. is as much as they can with a movie these days. Nobody's going to sit through a three and a half hour film. I would, depending on the movie, but I'm not. An but depending person. on the movie, they would not have made. Let me pull it up. I think it's 145 million on the opening weekend, or 154 million. For Christ's sake, Titanic was a three-hour movie, and that was just about a boat sinking. I'm much more interested in this three-hour movie. I, I agree. Actually, I actually 100% agree with Ryan. I agree with Ryan on that Make one. Make this but a four-hour movie. 
<laughs> but everyone might hate me though. I think they could have done really well if they had broken up into parts. Why aren't they doing that anymore? It's really what I want to come back to. They did it with Star Wars. Shut your mouth. They did it with Star Wars. The Star Wars was an epic. It had a hundred. They could turn this into an epic. See, I actually disagree. This isn't an epic. This is this is one guy's fucking story. I don't. I see. I hundred percent agree with Ryan. This would not have made. He's hundred and twenty-four years see, old. Not, see the problem I have. <laughs> see the problem, James. Okay, is it's would, one guy's really long story. <laughs> see, the problem is this would have this could have never been an epic. Not only would it not start like an epic, it didn't end like an epic. <sighs> I think that, uh, you know, thinking about it... Wait, I think you mean him running away to try to find Anne Hathaway on some island? Or some I, planet? If, if, you made, <laughs> if, well if you made... A, if they made a second movie, that's what the whole thing would have been about, is him trying to find what godforsaken planet he left her on and you know in the delta quadrant or and something. they can start turning it into like he runs into Star different Trek, worlds yeah. yeah that's what i'm saying you start running into different things they they don't know what's out there so, I, I really think that's what the movie lacks from they could have yeah. done more so ryan what do you give this movie i i, I give it a four i can't i can't say they could have done more because i don't know what the hell more they they really could have done they went above and beyond finish the movie them. then uh, talk about it <laughs> <laughs> they they went above and beyond with the the special effects and and the 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 practical sets uh, the the use of all the practical effects were were incredible. Um, the the acting was uh, above par. Uh, mm-hmm. I mean, it, it dragged a couple of times and there was a little overuse of the score, but other than that, I mean, it was it was more than I was expecting. The, it perfect, part the the only part that I guess that one of the other part that really bugged me is the whole time I'm thinking. Oh, this is the new age 2001 because there was like, okay, that's similar, that's similar. And towards the end, I'm like, hey, it's a space baby. My girlfriend said, what? It's like, <laughs> never mind. Because <laughs> I, I, it's like, it took me forever to figure that part out in that movie. Oh, the space really? baby would the greatest thing in cinema. So I'll, you know, I, I give this movie a three out of five. Um, it, it's not my particular favorite sci fi, the genre in sci fi, but. You know, it was it was enjoyable, and at some point, I want to watch it again. <laughs> so, so Mr. Mr. Button Pusher, what do you give it? Well, <laughs> remember, no zeros. For me, it's a two, and that's what I love. Yeah, I know, I know. Isn't this great? This is what this is what we needed to have almost every every time we do this show because I we all agree the same. It's so damn boring. <laughs> this this movie so sucked. I'll get get my three hours back. <laughs> I mean, uh, the acting was just so-so. Um, the only thing that got that I'm going to give credit for is its soundtrack. I think it did it did have a pretty pretty good soundtrack, but that's it for me. I think the Nolans could have done more, make this two movies, gotten us more involved. It would have been a lot better. The search for more money. You are so bitter. <laughs> <laughs> well, he is not, he's not called the old guy for nothing. Uh, James. Uh, you know, I... You know, I really, I really can't say. Like, this is actually, I will actually be, I actually have to say this. I am disappointed that Ryan and Rob have not come up with points yet. Yeah, I know. <laughs> because, uh, but, but I'm like, so you know, we got, Rob have a life. we got so many arguments on this. I don't think it deserves a three, and I don't th- think it deserves a two. There you go, our first two point five. This is the first <laughs> time I've felt like this. Nope. See, no, there's no points. I told in... you it was coming. I know. So, so, what do you give so it? by default, because you guys didn't do it, it's a two. Okay. There you go. I I agree yeah. with Rob. The the acting wasn't up to the standard that it should have been. <laughs> did, did you just throw your little? He just, little got, <laughs> he just got. And there was a mic honestly, <laughs> they didn't develop the story enough. They really didn't to me. Okay, it just so, felt so lacking. So now I like I like the way they didn't. I mean, they, they didn't develop the story. I'm not talking well, about well, the stupid we, gravity and the time dilations well, it's, it's, it's and time. him. So, I'm not so, about that either. I'm talking about all the other things. I best mean, actor it, in the whole well, movie it, was John. As a person, as the person in charge of the clock, I'm gonna have to say we're gonna have to close oh, yeah. this, this section. This one's real gonna be real flex <laughs> reviews. No, we, so if 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 we if we ever have if we ever have an after show or. Or I don't. If we have anybody ever or, watches our shows, or a real flicks reviews flashback episode, we're definitely going to end up more to discussion. So uh, James is going to talk about this uh, this week's oh, uh, fly or Firefly. Firefly. All right. So um, this week's Firefly was Ariel or something. Ariel. Like Ariel. Nine. 
Anyway, um, oh yes, okay. So this one I really <laughs> I liked it because they did the backstory <laughs> on the pre- hold on on the previous episode. Yeah. Of how he got Jane, and how he kind of is talking to Jane and finds out through Jane holding a gun on him that he's a greedy bastard, and gets him on his side. So then they go into here, and Jane betrays him, which comes up to one of my favorite lines in this in this series, which this is probably my second favorite one, right after if somebody tries to kill you, you kill him right back. Next time you decide to stab me in stab me in the back, have the guts to do it to my face. face. <laughs> <laughs> That's right. I love that line. But this film, I, I think this one is really uh, another Jane film. Or Jane, Jane episode. Jane episode. Mm-hmm. I really do. I, I I never really liked the fact that they were getting into drugs, but you know, <laughs> <laughs> whatever. They got to make their money. Make their money. Yeah. Well, yeah. I I I actually liked this episode. I thought it was done very well. I was very disappointed in Jane again, and you know, yeah. I kind of thought that uh, He's a greedy Maul and his and his crew were all together and all you know all for one and one for all type of thing. And you find <laughs> out you can't turn your back on Jane. Yeah. You know, well, you can't count on him. <laughs> Jane's one of those characters where you you can't always trust him, but you can always trust Jane to be Jane. You know what I mean? Yeah, true. Right. You know what he's like, and you know his sort of parameters, and and Mal knows it. Uh, The the other people might not so much, specifically the doctor, who's, you know, he's going to get into that later, I think. (laughs) Yeah. 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 Yeah, we're going to get into that stuff later. Yeah. So um, so we're going to. We're going to switch off. Hold on. Just going to let everybody know that we do have a Facebook page. Please tell us if you like us, do you hate us? Is there a a movie or a theme you'd like us to do? Hey, or if you're willing to give us movie, buy us movie tickets, passes, and can continue Old Guy Tech TV's promise of excellent programming. Our promise of excellence. (laughs) I like that. I didn't know we had one. (laughs) It's a John, did you flip like a Frankenstein switch to get that icon? (laughs) Yes. Yeah. Wow. Wow. So, um, how do you guys feel about Bond 24 with Christoph Waltz? Waltz. I'm excited. That should be interesting. I'm excited for it. Daniel Craig's still pinning in it. And also in Bond 25, which is another one that's supposed to be coming out. And did any of you guys, I watched it with Rob, but did have any of you guys seen the trailer for the new Jurassic Park? No, I World? want to. I haven't, haven't had a chance. We just kind of... It caught it right before the show. It's, it's such a oh, man. tease. I mean, it's just, you get, it, it you get really like, is. What, five seconds? But it, isn't it exciting? Oh, yeah, it is. It is exciting. It, is. And it looks cool. And I was looking you know, it up. This, this I'm sorry? Is a this is a testament to exactly how good that first movie was. Because even after the second one yeah. and the third one, the third one, I like one of the few movies I walked out of the theater on right. was <laughs> terrible. Right. I yeah. still cannot wait to see more dinosaurs see, on this. I know. Jurassic yeah. Park. Jurassic Park Three is, is kind of like RoboCop Three. Nobody admits to yeah. watching it, but everybody's seen it at least once. Or Dolph Lundgren's Punisher. Right. I, I um, love that. One. And Jurassic Which World. Just so people are know what what it's about. This is supposed to be twenty two years after all the shenanigans happened at the park, and so. Up on that. I'm sorry. I think it's coming up on 22 years yeah, isn't it yeah i think it is i think it's pretty <laughs> close to that now that's right so, yeah so it's in real time no yeah worries. so this is i'm excited for it yeah. i really am what was uh, our bummer though our bummer was it's not coming out until yeah. june 2015 june, june 12 2015 is how far away <laughs> this like, movie is it's like really it's not even rated i tried to i tried to give a guess oh maybe we'll see it in january <laughs> got all excited <laughs> that's like, june in 93 yeah yeah wouldn't make it 22 years. <sighs> I'll be completely honest. I'm more excited for Jurassic Park 3 than Avengers 2. I'm I'm way excited about Jurassic this Park. This would be Jurassic Park 4, F- but yeah. I don't get the point. Yeah. Yeah. And I'm yeah, actually yeah, cruising yeah. through the cast, and I was actually... I. Jeez. Anyways, I was just cruising through the cast, some random pictures of people, and I don't see Sam Neill. That's the one thing that I've been wanting to know if he was in here, and I, I haven't wonder, heard anything. I wonder how his health is. What He's about, been uh, doing Peaky Jeff Blinders. Jeff Goldblum. Yeah. What about Goldblum? Yeah. I don't see him see, either. I, I love Jeff Goldblum. I'm a fan of his, so. Uh, yeah, I'm, I'm just cruising Goldblum. through hoping that I'll find somebody, like, at the bottom as himself or, you know, just as some little kind of cameo type thing, but I don't see anything on them. Well, but just a disappointment. production. It, it, 
so we should get more information. We'll keep our eye on it. Yeah, that's so that's kind of where I'm at because I mean they still have almost a year. Yeah. But, I mean, oh man, I look at look at what they did with just the most recent Godzilla. You know yeah. What I, mean? like, the, I, I can't wait to see what the uh, what the new dinosaurs are going to be doing. That's going to be pretty dope. Yeah, and then also the other one that I was going to be bringing up is I didn't see it. I'm seeing if any of you guys had. Have you seen the Star Wars teaser? No, I refuse no. to watch anything regarding. The I plot I did or, read allegedly what's going to happen at the end of the new Star Wars movie. But... Wow, so let's not talk about that. Yeah, I, no, I'm got, I'm I'm already going to say it. So it's it's you better well, cover your ears. Don't... Don't, don't, don't say it. The it problem matter. is, until what? it's in the theaters, you don't know which way. Well, yeah, the, the rumor, the rumor is that. <laughs> <laughs> the, 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 the rumor is right now that Luke Skywalker is going to kill Han Solo. Okay. You mean a split personality? No. Oh. <laughs> uh, that's the rumor. There you go. <laughs> Anyways, um, you hey, our, suck. our fun of friends back. He says, "Quit yawning." <laughs> yes, quit. I've been. I, thank you. I was gonna say his na- same thing. He's gonna quit yawning. Anyway, uh, so that's that's really what I was kind of doing, and I I'm kind of on the fence with Ryan on this one. Is I'll look at the Jurassic Park ones just because I like to see dinosaurs on screen. Yeah, and to make sure that they're doing a great job. But the Star Wars one. I don't think I want to do that. You know, I, I'll watch trailers for everything, so I'm going to watch it no matter what. Well, I mean, on uh, episode two, I watched the Yoda battle scene like 15 times before I saw it on the big, big screen just because I thought it was really cool. <laughs> and but it ruined was, it. No, that was the only, that was really the only good part of the entire movie. Well, I'm saying it ruined it when that hap- when that scene came up. I'm just saying, eh, yeah, Yoda! <laughs> Then you finally got to see Yoda yeah, fight. Yeah, yeah. yeah, so we're gonna it's gonna switch off next week. We're gonna go into uh, Robin Williams in memoriam or whatever we're yeah, calling. Yes, so we're going it. back to that. So we're doing Robin Williams comedy. So I decided to pick a semi-modern Robin Williams classic, Robots, two thousand five, which is get to hear his great voice talent, tremendous okay. just voice talent. Probably you don't want to do Bicentennial Man. As a that's comedy? Yeah, about that's a second. funny movie. Oh, I, I, I think that's more of a drama <laughs> than a comedy. I'm, I'm sorry. I don't think it's that funny. Yeah, but I think he was being a smartass. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, so no, Robots, talk about. Robots 2005. It has a great cast. Ian McGregor, Holly Berry, Mel Brooks, Robin Williams, Paul Abdul. It's like a pretty good cast, so you have to see it. All right, so Robots, um, and we're doing episode 10, War Stories of Firefly. Firefly. And just a reminder, uh, when we do the end of Firefly, what we're going to do is we're going to watch the Firefly movie and Serenity. then we'll, Serenity. Then we're going to do kind of the wrap up episode, kind of discuss what we thought about the entire series. And so I gave the movie Interstellar a three out of five. James gave it a much beloved two out of five. Ryan gave it a great four out of five. Rob gave it a eh, two out of five. <laughs> I want to give it a two point five. <laughs> I would have given it that half a point we're, we're waiting and, for Matt Damon. And, as soon as Ryan and Rob do their homework and actually figure out the rating system, uh, reworking it a little, next week is Robots 2005, continuing on with our Robin Williams month into December. And as always, we'll see you next week. Goodbye. <laughs> Thank <laughs> you.